My name is Maya Roth, and it is my honor to present the Jane Chambers Award for Excellence in Feminist Playwriting. This award, administered by the Women in Theater Program, recognizes plays and performance texts created by women and genderqueer writers that present feminist perspectives, underrepresented experiences, and significant opportunities for female performers. The award committee is pleased to recognize the following playwrights for their excellent work this year. This year's runner up is Diana Burbano for The Ghosts of Bogota. Bold and theatrical, this darkly humorous play set in Colombia excavates legacies of immigration and incest as present day siblings raised in the US face their family ghosts in Bogota. Judges commended the play's vivid cast of characters, its feminist query of silence and abuse, its bilingual exploration of loss of home and homecoming, its familial webs and cross-generational rifts. The play's radical creativity enlivens form and content. The committee also recognizes two honorable mentions. First, Angela J. Davis for Agate. Agate adeptly recovers feminist history and an overlooked figure, Agate Uwila Jamana, a science professor and prime minister who served as Rwanda's president for 14 hours, prior to her assassination and the Rwandan genocide of 1994. This compelling play depicts her harrowing final days and clear-sighted vision, even as it honors Agate's African feminist legacy and successful bid to save her children. And second, Carol Mullins for The People, a thought-provoking ensemble play that queries feminist ethics and power by nuanced human focus on a lesbian politician and her circle of friends as it toggles between her campaign and a queer community-based center. Judges appreciated the play's diverse representation of lesbian lives, its multifaceted roles for women, its complex exploration of how activism, media, and leadership interact, and its timeliness regarding LGBTQ lives, discrimination, and gun violence. The 2021 Jane Chambers Award goes to Patty Kim Hamilton for Peeling Oranges. Haunting and hybridic, this dramaturgically sophisticated play reveals the inner lives and multi-generational memories of a Korean American family of daughters, mother, and sisters. With lush imagery, poetic dialogue, and playful humor, Peeling Oranges explores embodied memory queer romance and mixed cultural identity, including through its signature ghosts of Frida Kahlo and the family Holmani, always present. Elegant in language, deeply feminist in insights. At some point, you don't know exactly what is stored in your body, says one character. Peeling oranges listens astutely to the great sadness and caregiving. Judges commended its varied roles for women of Asian and mixed race descent its intersectional storytelling and its genderqueer possibilities. Unapologetically raw, these characters strive to maintain fragile relationships and complex selves. Congratulations and thank you, Patty Kim Hamilton. Nine years ago, I took a class on the American family drama before I even really understood that new plays could be written. I love these texts and yet I felt there was a hole a place for another kind of story. Peeling Oranges is the response to this. This play poured out for me in the last few years and without attempting to be radical, it became a story centered around a family of Korean American women, their pain, love, memories, and longings. I am so honored that this piece and these characters have spoken so strongly to the readers on the committee and in very grateful for the chance for this narrative to receive a wider platform and hopefully connect with more minds and souls. I would like to also honor all the other wonderful applicants. Please keep submitting. Creating such a complete work requires so much support, conversation, and inspiration for which I have far too many people to thank than is going to be possible in this short amount of time. So I'd like to therefore quickly thank my two grandmothers, women for whom migration, the American dream, and care for their families has been woven into the fabric of their lives. I also need to thank the Shakespeare Academy in Stratford, Connecticut for housing me and providing a womb for this play. I want to honor and thank my teachers, especially Peggy Phelan and those in my life who have read each draft and said something true, especially Christopher Adams Cohen and Nico Beckoff. 
Although this is not necessarily a play about my mother or my sister, I do especially need to thank both my mother and my sister and to all those in my life who have taught me what it means to live in this female body, to suffer, to remember, to long, and to dream. Thank you.